Welcome back, folks. This is Acid Roots. I've got more Donkey Kong Country for you. So we're gonna head into World 3 already, as quick as that sounds, but we're gonna fly through this. But actually, this world takes a little bit longer. It's not quite as easy as the first two, so split this in half, and but we'll still get on the path. I'd probably say this LP will be about, oh, 8, 9, 10 episodes, some of the like. I mean, I've said plenty of times that this is such a hyphenated kind of success anymore, or length anymore, but still is a fun game. I probably play this at least once or twice a year. I've played it just about every year since 2014 or so. I revisit this game more so than I do with the other Donkey Kong Country games, though. I don't really ever play Donkey Kong 3. Donkey Kong Country 2 is kinda... Uh, I just know that game too well. I played that a lot when I was younger, so... I don't know. I'd still say that Donkey Kong 2 is better than this one. Just countless reasons. Longer length, more interesting levels, the music... Uh, you know, just fun overall type scenarios and stuff. It, Rare Rare was really clever with that one. So. Yeah. So, those vultures that throw the rocks really piss me off. I mean, that, it seems like you always get hit by those. They just, their pattern for how they throw rocks is so off-key. You know, when you, you'll see them in, like, the temple stages and stuff later on, and they kind of... Well, I guess in World 2 they were kind of doing that also. I don't know. They're, they're, they, ha they show up often enough, and they piss me off. But... There they are. <laughs> see? It's kind of ass clowns. Hey, first appearance of the word ass clowns in this, I think. So, it's constant usage on the Acidic Roots channel. It should pop up here every now and then. Surprisingly, I don't hate the bees as much as I hate, you know, I suppose I don't even hate those vultures, but they're annoying. So, vulture culture. But the next world is the real ass clown of it all, is just the fact that you have to do five stages in Gorilla Glacier just to get to a save point, or a Funky Kong, so that's kind of the thing. They, <laughs> they wouldn't let you get Funky Kong because then you just would go back to a world where you could save, so they knew you gotta traverse the skill. I'm getting ready to do that in a few days. Probably will piss me off, but what can you do? project that needs to be seen more. So hopefully you guys are dining on something good. Hopefully you're having like Pizza Hut or Domino's or KFC or something like that. You know, something to really munch on. Pour those gravy, pour that gravy on those biscuits and, you know, get some ranch for the pizza. It's good shit. I tried to do a few of these. I tried to do the the, at the bonus barrel at the very beginning. I don't know why I couldn't reach it. I mean, that's the whole thing is you have to jump on the beaver to uh, uh, get to that bonus barrel, but Donkey Kong's jump just wasn't high enough and I would have died, so I just said, fuck it. You know, I, I don't know if you have to use Diddy or not, but... No. But these are more sequence they don't just want to go into these barrels because they shoot automatically. You have to kind of time it ahead. You have to be a little proactive. And if you want, you can skip a barrel. You get to shoot to the one that's after the one that's in front of you. I just, I know how to play these stages, so. so I'm going to use Funky Kong because that stage did piss me off. And uh, we'll go to... Back to World 2, get a, get a save point. I don't know what that stage was. This one I said Bouncy Bonanza? I don't know what that was. Strange. <laughs> I 
it's kind of funny, this because when you think of Funky Kong, he's actually as big as Donkey Kong, but he never fights. You know, I wonder if he's one of those people that would say, I'm a lover, not a fighter. Because he, you would think they would have tagged him along to help rather than Diddy Kong. I just wonder why he was chosen. I know it's supposed to be intended for a game that you play with, like, your dad or somebody of the like, some grown figure. That's what Diddy's supposed to be, the Donkey Kong the kid and the father type thing, but I should have had the option of playing as Funky or something. But, well, you shouldn't have had the option, but it would have been more logical to bring him to save the banana cord, so he could fight, you know, you would think. But. It's a 1994 game, it's kind of like complaining about Star Wars from 1977, it's like, come on, it's a classic at this point, so it's kind of doofy to do that. But kind of reaching that point. I think it can take a little bit of criticism if it's good enough, but you get the idea. Indiana Jones, E.T., 80s movies, that sort of stuff would also be more things that you probably can't criticize. Jaws, those type movies. So... But yeah, so I was doing a poll on the website Game Facts, which is Game Frequently Asked Questions, and it had a poll the other day that said, how old is the most recent game you played? And at the time, it was this game, and it was like the least popular choice. It said, I selected the option Ancient more than 20 years ago, and that was, you know, tied for like the least most popular. I mean, the second least popular was, uh, I just bought, this game just came out like a few days ago, but it was kinda, well, what are you folks doing, you know? You don't play Atari games, and NES games, and PS1 games, and Super Nintendo games, and Sega Genesis games? I was like, what the fuck, you know? It's like, I feel like, you know, for shame. <laughs> I can't get enough of Donkey Kong Country and Final Fantasy VII and Castlevania Symphony of the Night, Parasite Eve, some of those games, you know, Booger Man and Donkey Kong Country 2, Earthworm Jim, Super Tennis, you know, plenty of good shit. But, so we only have like a few seconds left, so we'll just kind of get that tapped up and then be on our way. I think I'll actually beat this stage before the time runs out, possibly. Well, Alright, so subscribe for more fun, thanks for watching, have a good night.